so I just have to come here and talk to you guys for a second because oh my god so I'm in the middle of getting my hair my roots done but um, I had to move my car because I parked somewhere where I can only park it for two hours and I actually found parking easily like right on the other side of the street and I just parked um, but I have like 20 minutes because I actually don't have to go back for 20 minutes but just look at me just look at me what I have to do what I do to get my roots to be good I just wanted to just just share this ridiculousness with you guys like I can't even like go outside because I have this on my head so I'm like trying to cover it but it's not even like cold outside today so I just look like a freaking big ass red I can't anyway so um I'm just like killing time here because I'm not sure like if because I can only park here for two hours again but I think I'm just gonna go in at the last minute because um yeah I don't want to come out and park again but anyway that's what I wanted to tell you uh oh yesterday I stopped vlogging in the car because I was driving back so Coco Chanel and I were driving back home we from dropping off Steven at the airport mm, I miss him um he's only gone for like 12 days though so that's good and um yeah so you've got me all to yourselves for the next 14 days so hopefully I'm gonna be vlogging with you guys vlogging more and um yeah so here I am in downtown and I guess I should go back I'm gonna go back in like five minutes I think okay see you later okay so I am running a little not behind but I've I should be like going to work right now or taking a shower right now but I wanted to just vlog because I was wondering if you guys are obsessed with this mopping thing um as my sorry I was like looking in the wrong camera hole um as I am because I'm running out of time but I like literally just can't stop using this because it's so satisfying and also at the same time do you see what's on it okay let me just show you Okay, so vacuuming is one thing, which I do, but like this thing is on a whole other level. Okay, I've done this three times already. Um, just kind of like going everywhere. I did the bedroom, I did the bathroom, but look, okay. So, let's just go over here. And I feel like this just gets everything because it's really sticky. I, don't, I think it does even a better job than a vacuum. Now, let's just see. And like, I vacuum, okay, every day. And see, proof. But look at this, okay. Excuse me, like, what is that? What? Like, how, 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 how? How am I living in this filth? Isn't that crazy? Like what? I don't even know what these things are. <sighs> oh. So now I can't stop and I should be stopping and taking the shower. <laughs> Man. Did I ever show curl. you my locker? So cute, right? Mr. Bochenka. Dancers up left, please. Members of the orchestra, please. Hi guys. First things first, we gotta do butt heat. Burr. So today is Friday, yay, weekend. Um, which not, it's really not a weekend because I'm working tonight and tomorrow. But my housekeeper comes on Fridays and she's there right now and I just, I, don't, I wanted to just give her the space. And this is a perfect time to go grocery shopping because I have no food at home. So I'm going to take... I don't know. I know it's cold. I'm going to take this little munchkin right here. 
to daycare because I can't obviously take her to the grocery store. Oh my god. The steering wheel is so cold. And I don't really trust leaving her at home because I feel like she's just gonna distract her and like make it hard for her to clean. So we're going baby. Mwah. It's so cold I have to wait a little bit to um anyway but I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along because I think today I'm still debating but I think today I want to go to both Trader Joe's and H Mart. I haven't been to H Mart in a minute and there are a few things that I want from there <clears throat> that Trader Joe's doesn't have. Like Trader Joe's doesn't have like a lot of the cuts of meat that I like and they don't have um, a big seafood selection. And I feel like <clears throat> ever since I started eating meat, oh my God, can I just tell you the steering wheel is so cold. And I put the heat on like the steering wheel heat but it's not working yet um they don't have a big selection of seafood they basically only have like frozen seafood or for fresh they only have salmon i think or the one i go to at least <clears throat> and i feel like ever since i started eating meat i'm not eating a lot of seafood so i feel like i should you know to have a balanced diet so that's what we're gonna do it's so unsafe for her to be sitting on my lap, but I'm gonna be careful. It's only going like a minute. Drop her off. And I think she's cold. She doesn't want to sit alone. Normally, like you saw before, when we're like coming like a long distance, she usually has a seat in the middle or she sits on the passenger side pretty well. So I came to Home Goods for some Valentine's decor, but look, there's like some, but it's already freaking Easter. Oh my god, I have so many bags in this car. I don't even know how I'm gonna bring it all home all by myself. But we're going to one more place, H Mart. But I think I'm gonna go to the smaller one. Um, but when I tell you guys that this is the best snack we've ever had, I'm gonna eat some now. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's like unbelievably good. Mm. Can you guys please get it and tell me if you like it? <laughs> or I'm the crazy one. Anyway, I'll do a haul when I get home. We ended up at the big one, the Super H Mart, because the other one was actually further. So, here we go. this huge place, but look what I'm not getting the Korean strawberries. These are 19 dollars Hello, it doesn't even look good. I went to three places, so we have get down here hauls from three different places: Trader Joe's, H Mart, and Home Goods. I'm gonna do Trader Joe's first. This is gonna be like in no particular order. I'm just gonna take these out because I think I have some frozen stuff in there that I need to put in the freezer. Got bananas for my protein waffles and smoothies. I got these Kumado uh, uh, tomatoes. These are my favorite tomatoes. Lemons for water, and I like putting bro uh, lemons on broccoli, and um, salt and pepper, it's so good. And these raspberries looked really good and on sale, so I got a huge one. That is it for that bag. I got these frozen chocolate-covered strawberries. I thought that'd be a good snack. 
Six pieces is only 100 calories. I'm gonna put this in the freezer real quick. Then I got green goddess sauce for salads and stuff like that. And I got a bunch of jerky. I really like the Trader, Joe, Trader Joe's jerky. It's a good protein, high protein snack. This is the buffalo, sweet and spicy. And then I got beef original. And then I got a bunch of these sticks. And these sticks are like only a dollar something, I think. Um, beef, turkey, beef jalapeno really good on the go too okay and then you guys know that i got my almond butter pretzels i got two of those oh yeah i have another frozen one i got the chocolate covered bananas as well more fruit cotton candy grapes my fave We've got blueberries. These were also on sale. Looks really good. Good for smoothies and stuff. Um, or like yogurt balls. Bowls. Balls. And then I got nuts. I thought these honey roasted almonds would be good as a topping. Some of these um, chili and garlic cashews. I love cashews and these flavored ones are really good. And got fig and olive. These are my favorite crackers that they have. It's good with everything. Cheese, dips, peanut butter, jelly. Some veggies. I got the Crucibus Prime Collection. I like these pre-made ones because it just makes it easy when I'm on the go. And I can just throw on that green goddess dressing and I have a healthy meal. The Power of Green. I like this brand. I had the purple one before. Um, just good to drink or to put it in your smoothie. Yogurt, Greek yogurt. I got some almond breeze because I'm gonna make, oh, hold on. My favorite, sweet potatoes. Um, I'm gonna make chia pudding with chia. So that's for that. I thought this was cool, matcha almond beverage. Um, it's just a grainless granola. I'm trying to stay away from too many grains. Um, yeah. Okay, I think it's just better for my digestion. Um, these are hemp seeds that I like putting in my smoothies or my yogurt balls. Bowls, why do I keep saying balls? Okay, and then two more things. I got just ground turkey. And these were so cute. I thought I would put them out as little decorations. These little chocolate hearts. All right, I'm going to put these away and then do the H Mart haul. All right, got all that put away. Now is my H Mart haul. It's not that much, I think. All right. Woo. I got some seaweed. This is like the snow crab flavor. Never had that. Seaweed snacks are always a good thing to have around. We've got rice paper. We've got Yakult, so I got, I like recently got into this. This is just like a probiotic drink. It has some sugar in it, so it's kind of a treat, but this is the um, light version, so it has a lot less sugar. And it's only 25 calories per little bottle. And it's like a good, like little dessert to like calm your sweet tooth. All right, and then I got some cognac. So I like I love cognac jelly and this was just like a plain one that you could just add to things. So I thought maybe I would add to it like a soup or something. Um, this is like basically is like sure talking noodles kind of, but like jelly. Speaking of, I got some sure talking noodles. We have some gnocchi mushrooms. We've got some pre and long peppers. You can saute them, you can put them in soups or just eat them raw. I got some broccoli. I got some mini cucumbers. And some um, green squash. I like making little pancakes with these with um, egg. It's really good. My favorite preserved egg. Love them. And then we got some meats. I got some crab stick. Oh, I forgot to get cream cheese. I'm gonna, I was gonna, well, maybe I shouldn't use cream cheese. I wanted to make like a healthy version of crab rangoons with this and the rice paper. So we'll see. 
And then we got some meats. I wanted to get fish, like I was telling you guys, but ugh, none of them was like really speaking to me. But I did get some oxtail. I love oxtail. You can make it into a soup and then the like the uh, collagen and the cartilage around it's so good. And then I got some pork belly. And then I got some beef hanging tender, whatever cut that is. Whatever that is. Fruits, more fruits. Us. Cherries, strawberries, and golden kiwi, my favorite kind of kiwi. Although, one time I saw red kiwi at Trader Joe's and it was really good. I didn't see it this time. And then I got a pre-made soup. This is seaweed soup. Just like these kind of soups are kind of a pain in the ass. It's a pain. They're kind of a tedious to make, so I just bought it. Ooh! And then I got a whole box. And then they put it in a bag of persimmons. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to put these away. And then on to the fun stuff. The home good haul. Now for the fun haul. Wait, hold on. I gotta work out right after this. I'm drinking my BCAAs. Just dripping for some reason. Okay, first, I wanted to decorate just a little bit for Valentine's Day, but then I kind of got sidetracked because there were so many cute little St. Patrick's Day stuff. I'm, I know I'm like totally getting ahead of myself, but like, I just couldn't pass it up. And also, it's because um, my husband is Irish. So, you know, St. Patrick's Day is a little bit more special to us or to me. I don't think he cares. Um, but I just thought these were so freaking cute. And I was like, what if it's not there? You know? But this is a little... Oh, I love it. It's so cute. So I just have to put this away. I, put, I just only got a couple of St. Patrick's Day things. Yes, I got more than one, okay? Whatever, don't judge me. I'm just gonna start opening it because I don't know what's what. I got a bunch of candles for Valentine's Day. Like decorating with candles is such a good idea just because like you are, you're gonna use it so you don't have to like store it, you know? Cause who has room to store like every single holiday? Oh, this sticker came off pretty easily. Holiday decor, you know? But look at this one. This one says, like, kiss me, cutie pie, love you. Oh, so cute. So cute. The smell is candy. No, bonbon curds. Oh, it smells like um that candy. What are these called? Candy hearts. Okay, and then we've got another candle. This one is all hearts. How pretty. I think this. I'm going to put this in the bedroom because our bedroom, like the accents are rose gold copper, so it'll match perfectly. Just taking these stickers off so I don't do it later. I'm so excited, so cute. I love decorating. Just like makes you, makes you, makes you in like a festive mood, you know? Like every day, like when I'm relaxing, I could like, See something fun around the house. Okay, and then this is like the main one that I got for the living room. It's just like really simple. It has just like this red heart. And it's not like a perfect heart, you know? I like that it's a little bit imperfect. And this smells really good. It's Citrus Summit. So it's like a fresh scent, not too sweet. Mmm, like a perfect everyday one. I saw a hack on TikTok. TikTok, oh my God, what's wrong with me? On TikTok about how to get these off, but I can't now remember what it is. Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn has, like Home Goods has so much Ray Dunn stuff. Do you like Ray Dunn stuff? If you guys don't know what Ray Dunn stuff is, it's like the ones that have like kitchen stuff that says the what it is like really in big letters, like sugar, flour, coffee, haste makes waste. I don't know why this didn't have a lid, but I didn't I, I didn't want to stand there looking for a lid because I didn't need one. Do I have more candles? Oh yes I do. Oh no, this is a mug. Look at this cute mug. I mean, hello. Hello, there's one heart inside. 
inside. So cute. I guess this is supposed to be a gift, but you know what? It's a gift for me. So this one, I think I will leave out just like as kind of a decor. And I drink my bone broth every morning anyway. So I'm gonna probably be using this every day. Coco is still at daycare, just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna unpack everything, decorate a little bit, work out, and then I'm gonna pick her up before I go to work. So she has lots of time to play. And then we got more candles. This one, oh, I didn't realize I got the same one. Oh, perfect, because I wanted to put one in the bathroom, like in the guest bathroom. So I got the small version of that. I guess the top is supposed to say this, which is cute. But I had that lid, so whatever. Someone must have either taken it or broke it. That was the last one of that heart candle, and I really wanted that one but it didn't, so I, and I couldn't find the lid for it. So, that's that, is it the same scent? No, this is Santal. I love that scent too. Perfect for the bathroom. Mm. 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 Okay. Because I am on my last, like I'm burning the last of my Christmas candle right now, and um, we need to switch it up. And look, I got this for my husband. How oh, cute it is! Like, boo, 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 boo. Oh, boo, boo, boo. How cute! So cute, right? I mean, I guess if you're not Irish, not cute, but it's so cute, and it's like perfect for St. Patrick's Day too. Oh, I got two things that were like Irish. So I don't know. Should I like put this out already and give it to him? Well, he's not coming back until next week. But I can give it this to him now or be like, you can't use it until St. Patty's Day. No, I'll just give it to him now. Okay. Do we have more candles? Yes, we have a couple of more candle things. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. This one is so freaking cute. I got one St. Patrick's one. I'll show you that one first. Hello? Hello? Hello, this was a little pricey, it was $30, but whatever. And this is like a candle that you would definitely save the container to. I guess all of them you can, um, the ones that I got, and then refill them for next. <gasps> That's what I'm gonna do, because I have a candle making kit, and what I can do is I'll just make my own candles for next Valentine's Day and, and St. Patrick's Day, and reuse them. Oh! And not only this, look at this. That's right. Stop it. Stop it immediately. Okay, and then to go with that cute theme, we've got another, one more Valentine's Day candle. Like, hello, hello. I literally can't. Frosted cupcake is the scent, ready? It says XOXO all over the place. Stop. Stop. And this one even wasn't that expensive. It was only $14.99. And again, reusable for many years to come. So it's actually an investment into my future. I'm telling you, I just really love decorating. I love holidays. I love all this stuff. I know it only lasts for a little bit, but it makes that month. And I'm starting early because January doesn't really have a holiday. I mean, I, could, I guess I could have done like, I could do all those like little stuff. Okay, when I move permanently into like a home, like that we own, that we're gonna like live in forever, I'm gonna do like, every holiday like even like martin luther king's day veterans day i don't know what else is there like everything everything yay okay i'm gonna just put this here because it's so freaking cute oh one more st patty's day thing That, that was so cute and also kind of goes with the theme for valentine's day because you know kiss me <laughs> get it so i thought i would put this like maybe on his side of the bed or something how 
cute is that, right? And then I got a couple more Valentine's Day things. I got this spatula. How cute! And it was only $5. And I kind of needed a new spatula anyway. And things like this I could use throughout the year. It doesn't have to just be Valentine's Day, you know? Because it's a heart. Everyone loves love. All the time. Um, do you love how, like, I justify every single one of my purchases? Like, I don't need to do that. Why do I do it? I don't know. And reusable straws. They're hearts. So cute. So cute. Oh! Oh! I'm in such a, like, uh, like, a good mood already just unboxing these things. And seeing them every day is going to be so nice. And then I got this. I'm going to i gonna put this as a centerpiece in my dining table. That's why I got those chocolates too. And I'm gonna put some candy, maybe a candle on it or something like that. Or put, I have um, roses that Stephen got me like a couple weeks ago and they're drying. So I might put the petals. But this is like a little serving platter and it's small. So I don't have to worry about like, oh my God, where am I gonna put this? If I could just get the sticker off, life will be just dandy. Okay, just a few more things. So we've got these cute coasters. So cute. Oh, they're so adorable. 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 Oh my god, they're so cute. They had red ones too, but I think these are really... Oh, so cute. So cute. And then I got um, kitchen towels. These are, I feel like kitchen towels are like the easiest and very inexpensive way to like decorate the house because everybody's always in the kitchen. You always need kitchen towels. You can never have too many, I think. And they just brighten up the, the kitchen really easily, you know? And it's not like a super, like a superfluous item that just takes up space. It's like something that you could actually use. I have one for Thanksgiving. I have one for Christmas. Um, but this one I thought also was really cute because it doesn't say like Happy Valentine's Day or anything. So like you could theoretically use them year round. And this also, um, this is a drying mat. So I, when I wash dishes that are not much are not dishwasher safe or something that I need every day, like the dog's uh, food bowl or like my uh, my BCAA cup or my bone broth mug. Like I use those every day, so I don't and I don't run the dishwasher every day. And this I just put next to the sink to dry my dishes, and they get like yucky pretty fast, so I have to keep changing them. And I didn't have a cute one. Actually, I was just using like freaking regular white ugly ones or like paper towels. And actually, Stephen was the one be like, oh, why don't you get a drying rack? And when I went, there was only like gray ones. So I got some gray ones, but I mean, come on. And they match everything. So I might put this in the kitchen. Chicken breast, some sweet potato. Ooh, look at that seam. Some green beans that I cooked with truffle salt and it's so good. Um, sesame oil and a little fish sauce and some coleslaw that I made with um, red pepper flakes. Mm. About to head out with some friends for dinner. I wanted to do a quick outfit check. I decided to go all blue today. This is navy blue velvet leggings because it's cold outside and a little blue crop. But the point of is all the accessories and the nails. I have some of these nails going on. And I accessorized with my unicorn for your sterling necklace, my Chanel and some blue pearls, some rings. There we go. And then for my makeup, I already had rainbow um, lashes going on, but I have to get a fill on Tuesday, so they were getting a little bit weak. 
So I just added some magnetic rainbows on because I feel like with like a monochromatic look, I wanted to just kind of like make it a little fun with the face. So that's what's happening up there. And I just put a little bit of lip gloss of the like um, an iridescent lip gloss in the middle. And then for shoes, I have these blue Manolos just to go with the whole blue situation. 